Uh, we've got our power outage right now, and uh, Edison just cut our power, so we're going to try out this Goal Zero Yeti 3000X. I've got it plugged into this large residential fridge, and it's showing here that the battery will be depleted in 32.3 hours. It's right around midnight. So we're going to check back in a little later and see how long this can power our fridge. I do also have it plugged into this small lamp. I will not keep the lamp on the whole time. I just put it on for the video. Good morning, guys. It's 8 a.m. The power's still out. I've had this fridge plugged in all night into the Yeti, the Goal Zero Yeti. Uh, the battery's showing... 23.6 hours till empty, 77%. I'm pulling 74 watts. I also plugged in my laptop and a cell phone into the USB ports to charge it, and I had a fan running. So I'm really impressed. So it's been eight hours so far on this, and we're at 77%. Edison has not given us an estimate on when the power will be restored to the neighborhood, uh, but I'm really impressed so far on this. Uh, I do have, uh, it did come with some solar panels that I can plug into this, and as the sun comes up, I'm probably gonna deploy those panels to kind of top off the battery. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll check back later. It is 10.45 a.m. We've been running this for 10 hours and 45 minutes. We've had this large residential fridge plugged in. Um, and it's showing the batteries at 67%. We have 24 hours. Uh, until empty, looks like it's pulling 60 watts. I have been charging up my laptop and running a uh, oscillating fan. Uh, so we're using this Goal Zero Yeti 3000X. Edison hasn't given us a estimate on when the power is gonna get restored. So um, there's solar panels that came with this. I'm gonna go ahead and put them out uh, to kind of maintain this battery because I don't know if we're going to go into another day without the electricity. But the good news is the fridge is running great and all the food in there is uh, just like normal. All right, thanks. This is our 1 p.m. update. So this is going on 13 hours running the fridge. It's still showing 25.7 hours and it's outputting 53 watts. I did not plug in the solar panels. I kind of want to see how long this will run. Um, I have this red extension cord for a lamp that I'm not using. Uh, so the only thing that's plugged in is this large fridge and it's been going for 13 hours. So I'll give you guys an update in another couple hours. The power's still out. It is 3 p.m. Um, we've been running this since midnight with the fridge. The battery's down to 56%. It's only putting out eight watts, so the fridge might have been might be cycled off right now. So that's why it's showing 99.9 .9 hours uh, at eight watts. But I think the uh, fridge is uh, cycled off right now. But the um, power company just restored the power so it's been 15 hours, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and end this test. So this ran for 15 hours, and the battery went down to 56% running this uh, residential fridge. This was the Goal Zero Yeti 3000X. I'm really happy with this, um, with how it performed. I didn't have to pull up the solar panels in. I'm sure if I would have, the battery would have uh, stayed at the same rate or maybe uh, charged up a little bit. So I'm really happy with this. Um, I usually use uh, gasoline generators 
for power outages to run the fridge, but this was really easy to deploy. I didn't have to get the gas out and start it up in the middle of the night. I literally just rolled this out of the closet and plugged it into the fridge. So this is a really good alternative uh, to a gasoline generator. I don't think it would replace it. I think you should still have a gasoline generator, uh, but this is a really good alternative, especially if you're in a condo or an apartment where you can't run a gasoline generator. Um, so that's a good option as well. I was able to plug in my cell phone and uh, laptop and charge it up over those USB ports. It does have a cigarette lighter adapter where you can plug in that and then this is where you plug in the solar panels. And um, so I'm pretty happy with this. I, uh, I think this is going to work out great in the future. So thanks for watching guys.